Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Aldas and uh, well, uh, that was different. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, we're going to take a look at the brand new Alpha Tori, as I call it, uh, for the 2020 season. Now, that was definitely a strange car launch. Uh, for sure, you can see that clearly the Alpha Tori branding is going to be very heavy and that's why it was so fashion uh, heavy as well. They're going to be pushing that brand so much onto this team and onto Formula One as basically a billboard for that clothing brand. But yeah, as far as the car itself and first of all actually the name Alpha Tori that's what I call it but to be honest guys I still don't know what this team is called because different people I swear are pronouncing it different uh, like different names officially apparently it is supposed to be Alpha Tori but then like David Coulthard pronounces it Alpha Tauri so yeah we're just gonna have to kind of go with it I'm gonna call it Alpha Tori if you don't like that well then you're gonna have to deal with it aren't you uh, but let's just get into the car because I think the less uh, said about that launch the better but anyway guys let's take a look at the brand new Alpha Tori for the 2020 season so this is undoubtedly our first real kind of brand new livery for 2020. There is obviously a massive difference to what how this car looks compared to how the Toro Rosso's have looked in the past. You're also definitely not going to mix this car up with any other car because quite frankly, I mean, that kind of side profile with that massive Alfa Tori logo and the fact that it says Alfa Tori basically in massive letters, they put that there for a reason so that you kind of get used to the car, get used to the brand and probably for Crofty actually for him not to call it Toro Rosso because that's definitely going to happen a few times uh, and probably for me as well because it's just going to be, for me, it's going to be so difficult. I'm going to call this team Toro Rosso more than once, guys. So yeah, I do apologize in advance. But as far as the actual livery itself, as I said, you're not, you're definitely going to notice it apart from all the other cars. It doesn't look like any of the other liveries on the grid, except for maybe Williams if they turn up with something similar, but hopefully not. So yeah, it's definitely unique. As far as the livery itself, I do like it. There's no doubt about that. On Twitter, people were loving it. So clearly it's got a very good reception. I did also like the overalls that both the drivers were wearing. So that was kind of cool. But I will say as much as I do like this livery, at the same time, I think I still might prefer the old Toro Rosso livery just a little bit more. That electric blue, that electric red. I just thought it was so cool. I absolutely loved it. And as much as I do like like this one, there's no doubt. This is a very nice livery. I'm not saying anything about it, but I think I still might prefer the old one just a little bit. But let's talk about this one anyway. Uh, you can see it's kind of a bit of a two-tone uh, from the white to the dark blue. I really do like that dark blue. I think that is a very cool shade, and it makes uh, really easy for sponsors, basically, because let's be honest, this Alpha Tori kind of team is just a complete sponsorship for Red Bull, not only with the clothing around, but with everything else as well. So these colors work very well against each other in terms of putting the logos and the stickers on there, and it is obviously the B team. You can see I do like that little splash of red, though, with the Honda hybrid and in general I think Alpha Tori have done a good job they're definitely going to look distinct and the brand new livery I think is actually very very nice it could have you know it could have gone really badly and it could have looked horrible but I think overall it's certainly one of the better liveries that we've seen so far and it is a nice surprise to have a brand new livery I thought there was quite a bit of continuation in 2019 there wasn't too many kind of new liveries except from the Haas uh, rich energy car but yeah it's always nice to get at least one really new livery and overall I do like it what do you guys think tell me in the comment box below do you love it do you hate it I do still think I prefer the electric blue of the old Toro Rosso, but nevertheless, I do think they did a very good job, and I'm very intrigued to see what the drivers can do in 2020. Now today I'm not going to talk about the aerodynamics of the brand new car. There are a few changes to the barge board and to the airbox as well and a few little bits there and there but overall it is pretty similar to last year but today what I want to talk about most of all is Alpha Tori season in 2020. What are they going to be able to do? What are their drivers, what is their driver situation in 2020 and what are they going to be going forward into the brand new era? Now 2019, they had a mega, mega season with two podiums with two different drivers. Of course, they also had Alexander Albert at the start of the season. Of course, he then he got promoted to Red Bull when Pierre Gasly got demoted. But overall, it was such a roller coaster season full of so many highs. I mean, first of all, that podium with Daniil Kvyat in Germany after Daniil had his child. I think only either a few days or a few hours before, I forget, but literally right after he had his first child. So what a what a feeling that must have been for him. And then with Pierre Gasly in Brazil after after his roller coaster season, it's kind of hard to believe that that actually happened, but they certainly had an incredible season and one to remember. Will they be able to replicate it though in 2020? Because I think the really big question over Alpha Tori is their driver lineup. It's we don't know whether Daniel Kvyat is going to stay because we don't know if there's any young Red Bull drivers in the pipeline that are ready to take his seat. And I think Helmut Marco he gave Daniel Kvyat that third chance at Toro Rosso just because there was no one else. And that's the only thing that I kind of worry for them that there is going to be a 
bit of instability and their drivers perhaps not knowing where they're going to be. I do think Pierre Gasly is going to stay there. There's no doubt about it because he did improve so much towards the end of the season once he was out of the Red Bull and out of that massive pressure cooker that is the top team. And when he came back to Toro Rosso in 2019, he just looked like a completely different driver. So yeah, the thing about Toro Rosso slash Alpha Tori now, yep, got that one wrong. Um, <laughs> the thing about Alpha Tori is that it's always very difficult for me to predict their season. Sometimes they can be actually one of the worst teams and really underperform, but sometimes they can be a real surprise as we saw in 2019. This team does its job though. It has delivered some incredible young drivers to Red Bull. It has also given the opportunity for some incredible young drivers in the past. And I think it is just a really good team. I just think that they're lacking a bit of... I think they're lacking a bit of soul and a bit of identity. Out of all the teams on the grid, this is the one team when I look at it. I like the people. I like Franz Tost. I like their two drivers. And no doubt they have a very hardworking squad. But I just feel like this team lacks a little bit of character. It lacks a bit of identity. It will always just be seen as the Red Bull B team. And now, I think it will just be seen as a billboard for the entire Red Bull franchise in general. So that's the only real issue that I've had with Torosso in the past and now Alpha Tori in 2020. But again, at the end of the day, they do their job. They're there for a reason and no doubt they had a really good 2019 season and will it continue in 2020 well what do you guys think let me know in the comments below guys of the brand new livery do you like it do you hate it do you think it's better than their previous electric blue i personally liked it better uh, last year and the previous years and also where do you think they're going to end up in 2020 let me know in the comments below and also let me know your thoughts about that launch because oh boy formula one twitter well they had a field day out there so <laughs> that was definitely amusing anyway guys i hope you did enjoy this video and if you did don't forget to drop a like smash that subscribe button and check out my social medias instagram and twitter will be above and i'll see you in the next one guys bye